much more of a project than I had hoped. So here's the drain tile. I may end up cutting it. Sharon's been in here uh, staining the cabinets on the inside. Uh, <clears throat> well, you're going to see the next scene how quick that changes. Uh. All right, today, uh, what is it, November 11th, I think Veterans Day or the Marine Corps birthday, one of the two headed up to the cabin to start on drain tile and, and stone. Not really looking forward to it, but it needs to get done. Once I get started, I'll feel a little better. Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to our new viewers. So this is going to be an all week project. Sharon's on vacation and we're tag teaming to get the cabin while well, get it much farther along than it is at the moment. So the first thing I got to do is I'm going to put a drain tile in here because the driveway is not pitched the way it should be. Long story. Anyways, we'll start with a drain tile up here. I initially bought a six inch drain tile that I thought I was going to put here next to the uh, patio in the front or the front porch. Well, you you're going to see that went sideways and we changed plans along the way a few times. But anyways, join us for day number one of our uh, week-long project on trying to get the cabin the way it should be, I guess, and start showing it to sell it. Which, by the way, it's a beautiful, beautiful home in Southern Illinois if you know anybody that might be interested. So let's see how the day goes. A little yard cleanup. Uh, fridge kind of crapped out on us. That was a uh, one of the that was the fridge we got from the eight acre picker paradise so we used it for a couple of years until it quit got a dumpster coming today up front by the cabin project got a showing on the cabin tomorrow a realtor is going to show a client so uh well i guess that'd be nice to just sell it right away if we have to and recoup our money Boys are out hunting, it's their last day or two, but the bucks are starting to move right now, just like literally this morning, so maybe today someone will get a chance. So this is the starting point I've been left with here to mitigate the water. I had intended on excavating these hillsides a little bit differently, but since they got grass in them right now, uh, I'm going to divert both of these up at the top and, and mitigate a bunch of that. But for the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a six inch drain tile in here, tie in this gutter and that gutter, and this will all be, I got covered so it's got a sleeve on it this will all be clean gravel with a drain tile here i'll run it into that ditch and then these ditches i'll start with three inch put the three inch in the bottom to give the water a channel what water is going to be left running down the hill i'll do that here and then i'll do clean over the top of the three inch and then ca6 and clean here in the middle the actual driving part Right, now I'm gonna bring in just a little layer of clean one inch and get the pitch right I'm gonna need a shovel and a rake probably here and then I'll lay this pipe down
All right, so on this left side, uh, this is the worst side with the water. It's not so much the volume of water as much as it is when it gets speed downhill. So I'm gonna trench a, a six inch perforated drain pipe, kind of like a French drain down here. I'm gonna put three inch rock in it. And then this, this whole thing, I'm gonna fill, backfill up past this ditch. So this will all be stone in here. I'll get rid of this dirt with the tractor. Um, and that should slow the water down, give it an outlet until I daylight it down there. I'm not positive yet down here what I'm gonna do with it. Cause you can see I'm, I'm stuck by the level of the home. I can't really bring much stuff up any higher. And I don't have enough drain tile. I don't want to ditch it all the way down here. Ahem. Well, you're going to see the next scene how quick that changes. Uh, we'll see just how far I'm going to trench this ditch. Is it going to be, you know, 300 footer or 150 footer? Let's check it out. So I was thinking of daylighting it somewhere around here. And then this is just going to be a patch of 3 inch again here. And then after that, it'll be slow enough where it ain't going to really erode much. That's the plan for now, anyways. Well, as usual, it's uh, turning into much more of a project than I had hoped. Trying to fix the disaster that was poor planning on the front end. So, I have to deal with the level of the house. I mean, uh, that's the A equals B minus C equation that, that can't change but everything has to be lowered in the house so that's why I got to dig lower and farther to get the water away after the fact so now down here by the pond I got my my ditch is gonna daylight all the way down here so I need to pull a few trees which I just did and I'll make a riprap basin down here for that six inch pipe put a rough grade on this and right in here is actually a nice hole where I'm gonna put a riprap bowl down here so that's where I'm at here midday single pipe in the ground yet but that's this is the hard part once you get all your ditches and trenches then it's easy after that all right so on this side I got a new trench for a gutter pipe I'm gonna daylight that all the way out and then this side here, the gutter pipe is going to go right into that ditch. Right into the riprap. Right here in this ditch. And then I got to excavate some of this dirt out. I might do that next. And then replace it with stone in here. But I got to keep that ditch flowing over there, away from the house here. It's... Yeah, no comment. There's a ditch. It's gonna come all the way down here. And then the, the whole thing just drops off right behind me here. That's where the pipe's gonna come out at. So here's the drain tile. I may end up cutting it somewhere up in here because I want to be able to drive vehicles in here. I mean, I dug the trench deep enough, but at some point right around here, I want to go a solid double wall pipe for the rest of the run. 
and only this top half perforated. I gotta clean a couple spots in my ditch though. All right, so here's the drain tile. It's gonna be a three inch rock in this ditch. Haven't decided yet where I'm gonna cut it. Uh, we'll see how it buries and go from there. I got a feeling I'm gonna be short of stone, but we'll see. One step at a time. Water's gonna come down this hill and seep you know, slowly into the rock and shoot down this drain tile all the way down to the pond. Right now that's a hundred foot roll. The tractor would be a lot better for this, but I don't feel like running back right now. I'm not sure how much stone I'm gonna lay before I switch over to dirt. Uh, I, I don't think it would hurt it switching over to dirt at that point it should have found its way in the tube oops wrong way so I guess I'm not sure yet and then over top of this is going to be one inch clean the dumpster former trash pile I've handpicked it like three times now so it's almost almost totally clean so that could work like that or if I want them lower yet then I'll put the stock elbow on and just get straight connectors don't think this end will go inside of a four inch pipe I mean that's the whole issue so I was wrong I do have some adapters, but doesn't look like I'm gonna need many because the four inch, the wide end does fit right over top of that. So I can start burying some of these. Yeah, I think that'll work. I mean, you can flex this down here, get it underground starting about right, right here. And then of course underground the rest of the way. All right, we'll see. All right, this is where I'm calling it in for the day on the outside. We'll check on Sharon, but this is what I need. But I had forgotten that we have oversized downspouts. So I need to go to the store tomorrow. I need to get some connectors, some adapters, some six inch double wall. I'm going to cut this somewhere and put the bottom half in a double wall so we could drive over it not worry about crushing it i mean this might survive i mean it'll survive a lawnmower or maybe the tractor or excavator but if like if whatever if i wanted to get a load of sand or something down there that'll crush it so i got to go get a four inch roll for this front i was going to use six inch but we really don't need six inch since i'm not tying the gutters into it that trench is dug. This all needs to be backfilled here anyways, because you can see here, I'll show you. You can see here, we got room to backfill yet, so I didn't really make that one too deep. That'll be four inch double wall. Sharon's been in here uh, staining the cabinets on the inside. All right, so then after a stain, it's two clear coats next? Yep. All right, well, it's gonna look nice. Them countertops would be really nice. I think I'm calling it today myself. <laughs> 